is it uncomfortable because it's growthful or is it uncomfortable because it's grueling? You've gotten great at divine working, but what about divine living? Welcome to the Divine Living Podcast. I'm your host, Gina DeVee. You're not alone in wanting more. And here at the Divine Living Podcast, you can expect to be part of conversations from women like us who unapologetically dream big and are obsessed with manifesting our most fabulous lives. The conversation starts now. All right, lovelies. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I I'm just so excited to to be here with you and hope that you will uh, plan your time over the next couple of weeks where I'm going to be sharing. Um, I'm going to start today with like kind of what's happening and what we're even doing, if that's cool. And then if you've got questions, drop it in the chat. If I miss it during our time here, um, not to worry, my team always gets me the chat afterwards. Um, so we'll make sure that any questions get answered as well. First of all, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up for yourselves, showing up in this community, showing up as a queen, because so much of you being here, what that says is you believe in the feminine. You believe in the feminine way of life, which means you believe in infinite possibility. And this world in general does not. It's a very hurting world. It's a very scared world. And when we're not careful, we can fall prey to the thinking of the world that says we have to be working all the time. We have to work hard. We have to do things that we don't like. And showing up in your queenhood just defies all of that. And what's happened is the feminine has been in the backup position, which is why our lives and this world looks the way it does. So we are the queens who are committed to transforming that and committed to a higher way of being and committed to all things are possible and committed to living our best lives without apology. And that takes focus. It takes belief. It takes commitment. And notice that I didn't say it takes work. Because I think that when we are aligned with joy, possibility, and understanding that the, the biggest and the best manifestations actually come from a state of bliss, when you're in bliss, there might be blissipline happening, but it's not that hardworking, hustle, discipline, you know, do all the things from this place of like, well, I don't really want to do that. And I'll sacrifice my time, my body, my health, my pleasure just to get the result. And when we remember that we get to be divinely guided in any given moment, I haven't ever been divinely guided to do stuff I hate. Now, doing things that were uncomfortable for me at the time, yes. There's a big difference between like, oh, like, all right, am I going to go get myself online and really say this and really express who I am and really be the true me? There can be like an uncomfortable like, yeah, oh, um, or when I've had to have uncomfortable conversations um, with clients where it's been confrontive about whatever the issue was, like, you know, being guided to confront uncomfortable for me, yes. Grueling, no. Um, same thing goes with team members, setting boundaries, setting standards, all those things, like, you know, so there's a big difference. And I just want you to identify in your own life, like what is just sucking the life out of you? What is just a no and you want to make it a non-negotiable versus that like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, because it's more about growth than grueling. I think that's the distinction, really getting clear for yourself when, is it uncomfortable because it's growthful or is it uncomfortable because it's grueling. And part of where this whole idea came from was complete divine inspiration. I got back from uh, whatever my most recent trip was, I guess it was, it was a little whirlwind of San Diego, LA and Vegas. 
um, and summer fun. So Mm -hmm. it was so fun and we had such a great time. And, you know, as one does on vacation that you get out of your routine. So exercise wasn't as regular. Intermittent fasting was nowhere to be found. And then I also got, got out of my rhythm of like the supplements that I take and the hair products that I use and some of my beauty routine. And I was just like, all right, Gina, let's adjust that crown and get it together, girl. Um, You have basically two weeks before you leave for New York City, where I'm also going to be having fun and hosting the Divine Mm -hmm. Direction event. So if any of you still want to come and join us, we've got a few tickets left. Um, You can get that at divineliving.com forward slash direction, or you can get the details there. Mm -hmm. Anyways, and then um, I'm doing a girl's trip after that event. And so I was like, there's a certain way, let's just be clear. There's a certain way I want to look in New York City, and it is not quite the beautifully puffy version of myself of today. Um, there's some teeth whitening I want to happen, get the, the, the hair game going on strong and just like I want to like feel good and, and, and vibrant. Um, so I was like, all right, two weeks, here's, here's going to be my thing. And then I was like, well, I'm doing all this anyway. So why don't I get the cute club in on it? Cause I'm sure you all are interested in a summer glow and all of that. So I'm taking you on the journey with me. So I hope you enjoy um, tomorrow at, Ooh, I think it's, you'll get the calendar of events. Some of this is going to be a little bit early for you uh, West coasters, but you know, do what, do what you want live. And then all the recordings will be there for you as well. Um, I'm bringing my yoga teacher in. So like I do yoga twice a week. If you want to do yoga with me, boom, you'll be doing yoga with me and Alexis. Um, This will be a very beginner (laughs) yoga class for all you yoginis out there and think that there's going to be a bunch of handstands and that kind of thing. Um, Obviously it's yoga. So, you know, you can scale it to your own degree. My teacher is amazing, but I am a beginner and you will, you will see that very, very clearly. Um, so yoga is Monday and Thursday, personal training oh, then yeah. is out of town on Monday. So you're welcome, but personal training will be happening Tuesday through Friday this week. And then Monday through Friday, the following week. So if you want to join me and Ben in the gym, we're like going to use as little equipment as possible. So if you actually want to join along, you can, you can modify anything. So that's the physical stuff. And then I'll be sharing with you what I'm doing. And PS, nobody is authorized to like, Gina said I had to do any of this. All right. I'm like, everyone is a queen here taking personal responsibility on I'm sharing what I'm doing. Do it. If it inspires you and feels good to you, adapt it. If there's like some sort of modification, either in the workouts or um, I'm going to share with you my food plan and my intermittent fasting. Again, these are not even suggestions and they're definitely not recommendations. It is only Gina sharing what Gina does and what Gina has learned that works for my body. So what I'm doing is I'm easing myself in there. There will be vino, a little bit of vino tonight because that all ends tomorrow uh, for me. So part of what I do during my cleanse is I go off all alcohol, mostly sugar too, and wheat and dairy. So I'll do like just clean eating protein and veggies. Um, Intermittent fasting, Tuesday through Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I personally um, am going to do a full cleanse, which means I'm not going to be eating food. Um, See how lovely my personality is on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, um, where I do um, celery juice and water, lemon water, and it's just complete, uh, completely that. So I have found that when I do a like a, a three day jump like that, it really clears up my thinking. It, it, it makes all the other efforts that I do um, more obvious. I'll just say that way. <laughs> and so that's what I like to do. So again, join me if that feels or sounds good to you. Don't, I'm experienced with this. So if you get like halfway through like one intermittent fasting day and you're like, oh, sister, uh-uh, this is not for me, then 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 you get to be the queen. This is not right or wrong. This is not a competition. Like I said, I've learned what works for me. And then I'll go back on some clean eating um, Friday and then basically do the same thing again the next week. 
no, I'll keep you posted on that. But it just, for me, it just gets rid of all the, the puffiness and inflammation and it's kind of cleans me out, which I, I definitely enjoy. So other fun things that are going to be happening. <clears throat> and the other reason other than just, so like there's teeth whitening and hair oils and just, you know, nutrition supplements that, that I'll be talking about as well. Um, yes. And it's, it's, it is more fun doing it with people you, you feel a little less alone because when you're there, like at five o'clock and you like want a cocktail and you're like, I think I'll take a bath. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll pour Pellegrino in the wine glass. Um, you know, I think I'll read a book. <laughs> you know, like it, it's good to have a pattern interrupt. Um, the other reason why I'm so excited and delighted to be on this journey with you is for the feminine art of manifesting. And recently a desire has come into my sphere and it was actually there before. Hold please. <clears throat> Should start asking you all some questions and I can take a sip of coffee and then you can chat, but hold on. And um, there was a dream that I had a while ago that I just, I never gave up on it. I just wasn't actively focused on it. And it's recently come back into center focus. And then I looked at it and I was like, it's big, it's heavy, but I don't care. I'm going to be, and I, and I felt all of my, my old activation powers go into place. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Where it's like, you're just reaching for old tools and old habits, even if they don't feel good. Um, even when you thought you learned your lesson. And I was like, okay, well, I can... I can do this and I can do that. And I could, I could basically, then I started forcing and I started pushing and I started making it happen. Then it became, then I went into worry and stress and fear and doubt. And it was amazing because ever since I went into this place of surrender from my dad being in the hospital in March, I have been in a consistent I mean, consistent state of bliss. Like everything was just either a very simple yes or no. Everything seemed to be in flow. Everything seemed to be working out. My coach who I still met with on a regular basis, she's like, I think she was like, not waiting for it to like, and or like, when are we going to like work on the places in your life where you're like having a meltdown here? And she's like, yep, you're still on flow. You're still on bliss. And she's like, are you sure I'm doing enough during this coaching session? I was like, yes, <clears throat> because I was maintaining everything working out, everything being peaceful, everything being fun, everything being filled with joy. And it was, so that was March, April, May, June, other than the, um, issue with my family and addiction issues that happened on Father's Day, but it did, that didn't even rattle me. I mean, it wasn't fun, but it was, I mean, we call it bliss, but you know, it was like, I was still in the, in the flow wave. Um, and then up until like this recent situation, it feeling stressed, worried, or frustrated was actually not my experience at all. And it was such a foreign feeling. <clears throat> so I decided to get back into alignment because I knew that I have a choice. I know that I have a choice and I can go and force and push and make it happen. And I will, and I could make it happen that way. And it, and it would happen. And I've done a lot of awesome things in my career and personal life that way. Um, and I always told myself the result was worth it. And it's just, none of it's worth it anymore. Like I'm not giving up on this dream by any stretch of the imagination, but going into masculine action overdrive where it feels like discipline and not discipline where the effort does not feel like effortless accomplishment that the Course in Miracles talks about, that the effort feels hard and somewhat grueling. I'm, unavail I'm unavailable for that. And I'm being transparent with you that even I have to 
reprogram myself because when I go into like, okay, I'm not going to force it to make it happen. The brain is tempted to think, oh, well, then it's not going to happen. And I'm like, no, 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 it's still happening. And then the brain's like, but how's it going to happen? And now I got to go back into practicing at an even higher level. The stakes are even bigger right now. I don't know. I do not know how it's going to happen, but what I know for sure is who I'm committed to being as it is brought to me. And this is what I want for you as well. I'm sure this is what you want for yourself is that for us together collectively to discover true feminine power, true feminine power. And it's like, if we're asking the questions like, does this stuff really work? We need to know. Because a lot of us are going around out to, you know, talking about feminine power. And it's like, well, it's not feminine power if you have to rely on masculine power to get it done. So I'm like, I surrendered so much over these past months. I'm like, okay, well, what if I didn't worry about my career? And what if I didn't worry about my identity? And what if I didn't worry about, uh, you know, where the new money is going to come from? And what if I didn't try to control my social circle outcomes and like all this stuff? It's like, well, that all, that was all everything in flow, but this one, but now God's brought about like the stakes are even higher with this one. Cause it's like, I really, really desire. I wanted those things too. And that, that was a little easier to get into the groove on, but I can see I've been in training because like the universe knew what was coming up. Right. And so it like, it gave me the things that were a little easier for me to breathe through and not need to know and not need to have the answers for, but this one, Gina DeBee would very much like to know exactly how, exactly when, exactly all of the details. And so I just want you to know that in this physical state of cleansing my body, I'm also cleansing my beliefs to think that surrender means giving up or letting go. And really practicing that surrender means giving it over to God and trusting, and it's beyond trusting, knowing and believing, but I got to create that belief that with this particular example, my greatest desire will be brought to me and all of the details and all of the pieces and all of the finances that are necessary for it will be in divine order as well. And it doesn't mean you won't see me taking action, but this for this time also to manifest the feminine way. I am, I don't want to say it. I am being very conscious to only take an action when it is divinely guided and not take an action because I can, or because I think I should, or because someone else thinks that that's the way it's going to happen also. And this will require a practice from me. This will require a new way of being. This will require a conscious commitment. This will require the, the daily connection with the divine so that I am being the vibrational match of the outcome. And just like everything else has been in all this fun and flow and play and pleasure, it's not that money hasn't come in. It's not that opportunities haven't shown up for, for work. You know, like while I was playing in Vegas or helping a friend move in San Diego or having a blast with uh, people in LA, all kinds of new work things, but didn't feel like work came in. And so new money, new opportunities, new, 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 new. And I just, have to know that it can happen for this as well. And I think that when we get really attached to something, we forget that there's a way bigger plan than what we're even conscious to. So in the course of the upcoming journaling and meditating um, and other actions that we'll be doing together, I just wanted to share with you 
um, this is part of the inspiration behind all the fun we're going to be having and all the things we're going to learn about ourselves individually, about our group collectively, and even more so about feminine power as well. So that is the kind of vision and the behind the scenes why I am offering this two week uh, summer glow up because I think we can just glow ourselves up and glow our careers up and, um, you know, and, and really have a lot of fun with this. And then I was going to, first I was just going to do it for me. Then I was going to do it just for the Q club. And then I thought, well, why don't we put this out on social media and see who else wants to join us if they either aren't in the Q club. So how many of you, well, let's see in the chat, are actual Q club members. You can type member in the chat and how many of you are brand new, kind of giving it a try. I'd love to welcome all of our new people as well. So all the members are showing up here so far. Super cool, super cool. You guys, I got a bunch of founding members also. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Lovely seeing you all here. All right, my lovelies. Well, so let's just take a moment uh, before we open up the lines. And I wanna give you some time to sit with your thoughts and what from the physical level to the spiritual level, to a career level or a financial level or a beauty level, like what are some of your desires for the next couple of weeks? And, and cause you're gonna be able to customize this process a whole lot. Um, and um, I wanna give you time just to, to, to get clear in your journal and let's not, don't make it too little or too much. I mean, for me, there's a certain amount of weight I'd like to lose. I'm going to lose. Um, there's improvement to my, you know, skin, teeth, hair, and nails. Uh, organization in my home. My home is like a mess from like suitcases being blown up and laundry being done after getting back in. So that, like, these are some of the things. Um, and then also, you know, pieces around um, what I just shared for this like other a massive desire of mine. So let's just take some time here. I will play some music because I think I can. Um, and we'll just have a little journaling time and let you get clear on what would be really meaningful to you to have either transformed or evolved um, over these next couple of weeks. So let's see. Can you all hear this? Go over. Is the music coming? Is the music coming through? Thank 
If anyone doesn't have their microphone muted, if you could please mute, thank you.
Did y'all have enough time there? You can take more time later today too if you'd like. Was that helpful to have a little bit of time and focus? Should we hear some of what what's going to be happening? Carol says preparing back in the world to get back into the real world would love to have a schedule for return to hairdresser, dentist, nail bar, gym, sorting out my outdoor capsule wardrobe. I love it. I love it. Super cool. Um, the other thing I, w- I want to, I'm going to open it up so y'all can actually like speak for yourselves too. The thing that I was also important to me, you know, I'm in a pretty happy place right now as I've shared, now that I got myself out of my own destruction of despair um, for that just minute. But there's a lot of people that are in a very, very tender place. And it's not the season that I'm in right now. Just like there were a lot of people really happy in January and February, and and I I was in a very different season. And so I desire this community to be very inclusive. And I don't want anyone to think that you need to be all rah-rah. And if this isn't like your teeth whitening season for you, that's totally appropriate. Um, There's people in this community that have lost loved ones, that are going through divorces, that have um, diagnoses happening with their children. So there's all different forms of miracles that this community of queens is calling in and i'm here for all of it and i'm here for all of you and i don't want anyone to think that um wherever i'm at i I share where i'm at because i think that that's been helpful to the community throughout the years um and so you know sometimes it's about the deep dive and the dark night of the soul and and that that inner search and inquiry And even if you haven't been through like a specific um, something recently, you've been through a global pandemic and you can't not be wondering what's next for you and what else is possible and what's meant to come and like reimagining and re-questioning so so many of these different parts of your life, Um, which is also, that's why I'm doing that, that elite experience in New York City. So if anyone's wanting more attention on it, come join us there. But these next two weeks also get to be a place for you to do that deep dive and that soul search of what else is possible. So on any given day, I might be talking about, you know, cleaning my jewelry or something. And you're you're in in a deeper quest. But I also want this to be a place where we can do our personal development, our spiritual development, and get really great at being women too. And so I don't want anyone to feel that if you cleaning out your makeup and, and, you know, taking a bubble bath and getting alterations done to clothes that you've been saying you're going to do for a while, like that counts too. So let's just all really be in this together. And um, I think that you're going to learn a lot from other people. I think some people focusing on one area are like, hey, I didn't even think about that for me. I could use some of that. Um, and and that goes from the uh, emotional to the material. So I'm here for all of it. That's for sure. And that's why I'm calling it a summer glow up. 
All right, my beautiful. I hope that you have loved this episode and it has been a blessing in your life. And if you could use a little extra love and support in sisterhood, I want to invite you to join me in my global community in the Audacity to be Queen free companion course. This is completely free. And when you go to divineliving.com forward slash audacity, you're going to get meditations. You're going to get videos. You're going to get workbooks. You're going to get Q&A call replays with me. It's just a whole bunch of positive programming completely for free. I want to make sure that you have this love in your life. So go get it now at divineliving.com forward slash audacity.